So sometimes you come across sites that uh, need variances to products that don't actually change the, the price of the um, the actual product. Now you can do this a couple ways. One, you can go through the dashboard and you can actually add these variances in there. Um, but the issue with that is, say for in this example where we have probably close to 20 different variances on, say, the dress shirt for the size, we don't want to go and create all of those variances in the product because it's massive. It would just take forever and it's very hard to manage. So I'm going to show you a way to do this through templating for shirts or for items that have the same dimensions um, across the board but might not necessarily change the price. It's just a little bit easier to do it. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and open up my editor. I use TextMate in order to do my editing. You can also do this through the dashboard um, if you want to change the thing. So if you wanted to go into the dashboard here, uh, we can do it through the template editor. The online one is pretty good, so you can make your changes without having any software. So let's go in here for a second. I'm going to go into the template editor. I'm going to make these changes through this editor so that you have the tools that you need to do it um, instead of doing it through TextMate um, so you can see what's going on. So let's start off here. First thing we want to do is we want to go and find the area that um, indicates our, our pricing in our dress shirts or our pricing for our products. So um, I know that in this template it's actually in a snippet um, and the snippet for um, this theme is under snippets, and then it's under, hold on a second, product form. So uh, what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to use the tags on a product in order to determine whether to show this field or not. So what I've done for the actual product itself, now you can do this multiple different ways. You can set it up so that it pulls in the type of the product, you can have it set if it's a certain price range, whatever you want to do. There's lots of variances that you can use. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to use the tags because it's easy to pull out the tags in liquid templating. So if we go to tag, I've added on the shirt tag. If I go over to my template, I've gone through and I've found where my variances are set up and I've added in this little if statement that says if product tags contain shirt, then show these options. So I'm going to actually add another option because in my spreadsheet here, you can see that I have to do the chest size next. So I'm going to add in a new option under here. We're going to do a new select option. So a little bit of HTML coding here. We're going to go uh, a new selector. This is the most important thing, the name. If you use name properties and then with the brackets, this will add a comment to your, uh, to your product when it goes to the checkout. So under customer details, when you go look at their product, you know what sizes it is. It doesn't add a variance or anything like that, but it does add a comment to the product. So these things are super helpful. So as you can see before, I've created one already called height. I'm going to do a new one called chest. And we're going to close off the selector. And then we're going to start adding our options. So we'll select. We're going to add our options in there. So our first option is going to be option value equals. Uh, we need to pick the size of the, of the option that we're going to use. So the first size on this is a 34 chest. So we'll go and add that in here. So 34. The value we want to show to the client on the client side is going to be 34. And then we're going to close off the option. Now I'm going to go and use a little trick that I like to use uh, in Excel in order to generate um, massive amounts of lists instead of typing them in one by one. I just find it makes it quicker for when doing that. So I'll give you this little trick. So if we go into Excel and we copy the numbers here, and I flip over to this other workbook that I've created where I've basically copied and pasted in the values of the structure of the option value. So I went option value equals to the quotation, then I stopped it, and then in a new column I put in my numbers, and then I went to the next one and I put in my closing option, and then I put in my numbers again, and then I closed the whole HTML thing. This is just a way of automating your production. So I'm going to finish filling these all the way down. Now you see here, this is not the proper way to end a tag. It's got an A in it. The reason is, is that Excel will not let you start a field with a question, uh, quotation mark. So you need to be able to uh, replace that afterwards. So I copy and paste these into any text editor that I like. 
So I'm going to use TextMate, as I said. I'm going to paste these in here. And you see I have all of these values now, but they have tabs in them. So I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to go to my Find and Replace. And I'm going to replace it with the quotation marks and the final clothing bracket. And I'm going to replace all of those so you can see that it's gone and done that. And then I'm going to take this little space here, which is actually a tab character, and I'm going to copy that into my search and replace and replace all of that. And you'll see if I go find and replace all, it'll tighten everything up. I can then copy these option values back over to my place and fix it. And we've got our option values in there. Now when I hit save, if I go back to the product and I go to view in the store, You'll see it now gives me the option for not only height, but as well as chest. Now I need to make one quick update here so I know what we're talking about. So we're going to go here and we're going to put in height. And down here, we're going to put in chest. Save that so we can see a change on the page. A little bit of consistency. Let's put some quotation marks behind it. And save. Now, because we used an if statement around this, if I go to one of the other products, say I'll go to a dress shoe that doesn't contain those tags, we can see that it doesn't show up. And that way, uh, we only have it for the pages that we want. Now, also, too, is if I go in here and I select my size, 67 and 43, and I hit Add to Cart, I go to Cart, and I add it in, we can see that it adds our comment for our height and our chest. Any additional ones we add in there, it will add it in there as well. So now the client, so now you know the size to ship the client. And that's basically how you add static fields to specific products that don't actually modify the prices within Shopify.